The downsizing of government in the city of Youngstown began tonight with cuts in the fire department. There will be likely more to come. One city official telling me today the police department and clerk of courts may be next. But tonight the focus is on the fire department. It is our top story tonight. This evening outside of Youngstown's main fire station downtown, Chief Barry Finley explained the cuts being made to his department. And came up with a plan that um, we would shut down a truck uh, and reduce some personnel in rank trying to save, trying to save money. The reduction in rank will affect nine firefighters, three captains who will drop to lieutenants, and six lieutenants who will drop the firefighters. The elimination of one truck will mean some moving around. The heavy rescue squad 33, now downtown, will move to the Bella Vista station and replace engine three. For engine three that's there now, it will be going over to the Melothian station. And the truck that's at the Melothian station will now be, instead of being a frontline truck, it'll now become a spare. And if Chief Finley supports this, I absolutely support it as well. Seventh Ward Councilwoman Basha Adamsack says the cutting may not end with the fire department. In May, a consultant working with Youngstown projected a $16 million budget deficit over the next five years. I mean, there are so many cuts that need to be made, so I think department by department, we just have to be responsible and see where cuts can, you know, further be made. Both Councilwoman Adam Zach and Chief Finley were pleased that no fire stations will be closed and no firefighters will be laid off. Like you said, every fire station is open and we got a fire truck and firefighters in every station. So, and nobody got laid off and that for, what, for what's going on now around us, that's huge. Since the 1st of July, the fire stations in Youngstown have been closed on a two week rotating basis to save overtime and those rotating closures will continue. Also, the frame of the truck being taken out of service at Midlothian needs replaced. Now, not by using it, the repair can be delayed and money saved. Plus, by not laying off anyone, the city can keep the $400,000 safer grant that started a year ago.